same way it came out. What's going on everyone, Todd from Plat AF. Today we're going to install the Unplugged Performance front upper control arms. Long awaited, they got here. We got the vehicle up, wheels are off, and it's these guys right here that we're gonna be replacing. So it looks like, because I got these early on, the instructions are not quite out yet. By the time you're watching this, they'll probably have all their instructions on the website. Pull this off, that clamps this, and then it looks like there's a bolt on each side here, 15 millimeter. 10 millimeter to pull this guy off. This is the ride height sensor. This is the intuitive one. So I just have to disconnect that, pop that out. And then the new one should just go right on. You try to match the alignment of those to these fancy adjustable ones here. They're labeled left front and right front. And we're gonna see how long this takes. So let's get rolling. I'm gonna give you an update so far on what we've done. We pulled the upper control arm. It's really just pulled here, here, here. Disconnect the ride height sensor. Disconnect the little 10 mil from here. Matched up, unplugged to the stock one. Eyeball method, lined up these joints. Look bird's eye view. This is the front, this is the back. The rear one is for camber. The front is for caster. And there's a little formula of when you switch it between track and street, We'll have it figured out once we go and do the alignment here in a little bit. But this is the first one, came off super easy, matched it up, snugged it down about 10 foot pounds. Well, that one's not too snug. Snugged those to about 10 foot pounds. I'll show the second one more detailed. I wanted to get the first one put together first and then just check in so that this video isn't too long. I believe all we needed was a 15, a 10, and a male Torx bit. Gonna grab this one, a Torx on one side, 15 on the other side, so we can loosen it until this, until this starts turning. And the way this works, it fits into a little groove. This bolt fits into a groove in this upper control arm post fitting. I'm sure it's called something fancy. Pull it out, that lifts up. So unloaded that right there. This fits in that groove right there. Fits through here, 15 with a Torx on that side. Got this little guy. Okay, got the pin out. Right height sensor pin. 10 mil, this guy right here. This is replaced, not unplugged with an Allen instead of a 10. Up top, this one, easy to get to. The other one, a little bit of a pain in the butt. This and that one. This one is harder to get to because we have a brake fluid reservoir. We have this little computer module thingy, whatever it is. And I could pull it out of the way, but I could probably get to it. But I'm gonna take everything apart. Will it fit on this side on the back end? Now it's a question on how much of a pain in the butt is this by not taking stuff apart. I can even crank that once from that angle, but I have to get it here. I'm gonna try holding it on here while I ratchet it this way. See if we can do that. All right, plan B. So how hard would it be to pull this little son of a biscuit out of the way? I guess there's just two tens. Back in the day when I used to build VQ35DE motors, 350Z motors, I would use a lot of T-handle for engine assembly. 13. I don't want to pull this whole piece off. So let's just see if I freed up any room there. I create any room. So I squeezed a hand in like this. That might help, we'll see. Two clicks. Yeah, that's just the way to do it. That's what it looks like. I am gonna put this socket under here to hold it up. That's gonna create the space that I need to put my hand over here on this side to hold this. That's how you have to get your arm in there. I got it. Second bolt is out. Out. Now we have to eyeball these. Put that one there before this rear one was significantly longer. 
So you should do it is go side by side like so. Okay, this one needs to come out. And it's reverse thread on one versus the other. So you can just literally turn this, this little nut in the middle and it'll telescope both sides out. This is a 19. as close as it's gonna get for now. Tighten these up. Let's see about getting this back in there now, in the same way it came out. Okay, my GoPro died. So I'm gonna place this in. Don't have any of the bolts in yet, but this is just rest in place. This will be much smaller. I'll get this in that hole, move it around a little bit. It'll line up, it'll self-center that bushing, and then I can pull it out and put the nut in. So let's see if that works. Bolt. Yes. Okay. That is a solution. All right. Unplug performance. Make note. Warn people. Install the rear upper control arm bolt first, as that is the hardest. Get that threaded in. Then connect the other two bastards. <laughs> 